Did you know that China's latest Mars rover has been quietly exploring what might be one of the most important regions of the Red Planet? But now, something unexpected has happened. Something that could force us to rethink everything we knew about our closest planetary neighbor. Let's get into the astonishing truth about what's been uncovered on Mars. What if the most groundbreaking Mars discoveries were happening quietly, far from any media fanfare? That's exactly what's been unfolding with China's Zhurong rover, a relatively small yet sophisticated explorer tasked with unraveling some of the biggest questions about the Red Planet. Part of China's Tianwen-1 mission, Zhurong landed on Mars in 2021, marking a milestone as China became the second country ever to successfully operate a rover on Mars. But what really sets Zhurong apart is where it landed, Utopia Planitia. This massive plain in the Northern Hemisphere, believed to hold clues about Mars's watery past, became Zhurong's playground and the focus of its incredible mission. Unlike previous missions that prioritized surface exploration, Zhurong approaches Mars with a different strategy. Its primary goal is to look beneath the surface, hunting for hidden evidence of water ice, geological layers, and other secrets buried deep in the Martian crust. Armed with tools never before used on Mars in quite this way, Zhurong is capable of peering far below what's visible to most rovers. This mission stands out because it shifts the focus from simply observing what's on the surface to actively investigating what lies below. A concept that holds enormous implications for both science and future human exploration. Landing in Utopia, Planitia, wasn't just a random decision. This region is known for its vastness, almost the size of the continental United States and its potential as a key area for studying Mars' ancient climate. Many scientists believe it was once home to an ocean or a large lake, making it an ideal spot to search for traces of water activity. But beyond its scientific intrigue, it's also practical. The plane provides a relatively flat surface, reducing risk during landing and its location in Mars's lowlands means it could serve as a harbor for ancient sediments, preserving crucial details about the planet's history. Jurong's mission is firmly grounded in this idea. Look where no one else has looked and use tools specifically designed to take the exploration deeper, literally. Exploring Mars isn't easy and Jurong faces challenges every day. The planet's thin atmosphere Intense temperatures and frequent dust storms are just a few of the obstacles. Unlike Earth, Mars doesn't have a thick atmosphere to shield against radiation or to trap heat, so rovers must endure brutal conditions. But Jurong has met these challenges head-on with cutting-edge technology. It's equipped with solar panels designed to handle Mars's harsh environment, including its infamous dust which can coat solar arrays and block energy production. By entering a hibernation mode during particularly rough conditions, Jurong conserves energy and outlasts the elements. What makes Jurong particularly unique is its suite of instruments. Its ground-penetrating radar, GPR for instance, allows it to detect geological layers up to 100 meters beneath the Martian surface. This is unprecedented territory. No other rover has explored so deep. It also carries a spectrometer to analyze surface materials, cameras that capture stunning high-resolution images, and a weather monitoring system to better understand Mars's climate. Together, these tools give Zhurong the ability to do more than just scratch the surface of Mars. They allow it to uncover structures, compositions, and patterns that could reveal the truth about the planet's ancient environment. This is where Utopia Planitia truly becomes exciting. Geological studies have long suggested that this region may harbor subsurface ice and mineral layers, signs that liquid water once flowed here billions of years ago. For scientists, this raises two major possibilities. First, 
water-rich deposits could provide a vital resource for future Mars missions, supporting human exploration and potential colonization. Second, and perhaps more thrilling, such deposits might provide evidence that Mars had the conditions to support ancient life, even if only microbial. Imagine finding traces of an ancient ecosystem frozen in time under Mars's scarlet dust. Jurong's job is to find the clues that could make this once speculative idea a reality. Already, Jurong's radar has revealed something startling. Uneven layers beneath the surface that seem to correspond to past water activity. Rather than finding uniform, compacted soil, the rover detected disruptions, indicating the possibility of sediment structures shaped by liquid water. This discovery hints at an environment that shifted and changed over time. Water once spread through these layers and then retreated, leaving intricate marks behind. It's fascinating to think of water pooling on Mars's surface millions or even billions of years ago, carving out these hidden stories. But here's the real question. If these anomalies point toward a history of water and a potential for past life, what else could be hiding underneath the Martian crust? Could Jurong's discoveries rewrite the timeline we've constructed about Mars? And if water played a bigger role in its past, does that mean the door to finding life, even fossilized life, is finally within reach? These aren't just scientific curiosities. They could reshape how we prepare for future missions and even how we define life's potential across the universe. So, what do Jurong's findings mean? Could these hints of water and geological complexity point to a bigger story about Mars's history? And perhaps more importantly, could they offer a glimpse into something much larger, a deeper truth about how planets evolve, and whether life, even in its simplest form, could have existed there? Imagine this. A planet that has been deemed a lifeless desert for decades might once have supported the conditions necessary for life to thrive. That's what recent findings from Zhurong, China's Mars rover, seem to suggest. It's a revelation that adds an exciting twist to our understanding of the red planet, reshaping what we thought we knew about its habitability and its role in the broader search for life beyond Earth. For decades, scientists have wrestled with the question of whether Mars was ever capable of hosting life. Numerous missions have tried to piece together fragments of the planet's history, analyzing its ancient riverbeds, vast basins, and dried up lakes. Jurong, however, offers something different. With its state-of-the-art instruments and its ability to peer beneath the surface, it's uncovering parts of the story other rovers have missed. While surface features like dried channels and deltas point to Mars's wetter past, Jurong's subsurface radar and mineral analysis focus deeper, literally and figuratively, into the planet's history. This is where things take an unexpected turn. Initial data from Jurong's ground-penetrating radar and instruments suggest the presence of underground structures and mineral compositions that aren't as simple as layers of inert dust and rock. Instead, the rover has detected what appear to be stratified layers that hint at ancient subsurface water systems. Even more intriguingly, analysis of hydrated minerals in these layers suggests that liquid water may have persisted for much longer than previously believed, potentially hundreds of millions of years longer. If true, this completely changes the timeline of Mars's potential habitability. But what exactly are hydrated minerals? And why does their presence matter? On Mars, these minerals typically form in the presence of water. They're like nature's fossilized fingerprints, offering clues about where water existed and how long it stuck around. Jurong has detected these hydrated minerals embedded in the layers beneath Utopia Planitia. This discovery not only confirms that water was once present in this area, but also suggests that the Martian subsurface retained moisture long after surface water disappeared. Think of it like digging into layers of soil and finding evidence of a hidden underground spring that existed long after a lake above it dried up. It's a game changer because it raises the possibility that Mars wasn't just temporarily habitable. It may have sustained the conditions for life over extended periods. Mars isn't done surprising us. 
Jurong's discoveries show that the planet's surface and what lies beneath it still holds clues that could redefine what we know about life in the universe. From subsurface anomalies to hydrated minerals indicating a wetter, more dynamic past, every layer uncovered tells us that Mars's history is more complex than we ever imagined. As we push further into space exploration, findings like these challenge us to rethink our place in the cosmos. Could Mars have once supported life? And if so, what does that mean for humanity's future? The answers might be closer than we think.